Hi there, everybody. This is Miss McLeod here, here to teach you a lesson about how to use BandLab. BandLab is a DAW, which means a digital audio workspace. If you've ever used GarageBand before, that is also a DAW. And BandLab is just a little different than GarageBand. One thing that I like about BandLab is that it's cloud-based. That means that all of your work gets stored in a cloud somewhere, and you don't have to worry about saving it on your own device. The other thing that's great about it is it doesn't matter what kind of device you have, whether you have a phone or a tablet or a computer, and it doesn't matter what kind of operating system you're using. The last thing that's wonderful about BandLab is that it is free for all students to use. So I have created a class for you in BandLab, and you're going to be logging into it today. So I'm going to teach you your first lesson. So when you go to BandLab, you need to go to edu.bandlab.com. Once you do that, it says learn with BandLab. It also says BandLab for education. If you see those things, you know you're in the right spot. So you're going to go to start as a student. I have given you a special code that will give you access to your BandLab class. I'm just going to enter the code that I have created for a test, a pretend class, not one that actually exists. You'll enter your code there, click on join. You do not have to actually open up your own account. You can just use your school email address by clicking continue with Google. Once you've done that, you can complete a profile if you want to add a photo or a picture. Um, I'm just going to leave mine blank and I kind of suggest you do the same and click on continue. I'm going to enter this test class, you will see your class um, when you enter your special code. But because I'm just doing a pretend class, I'm going to click on test class. I post your assignments in your class. When you get to into your class and you just click on start assignment. We'll go to teacher's assignment. If you're doing one for, for class, if you're doing something on your own, you can just click on personal project. I'm going to click on teacher's assignment because I'd like to show you how to do your first assignment. This is your workspace, and we are going to work with loops today. Loops are pre-recorded um, sounds that we can use. Just going to see if I can highlight that. So we're going to go to Browse Loops. The next thing we're going to do is just click on Loops up here. All of the loops that you see here are all pre-recorded sounds that have been made um, for you to use. Sometimes um, some of these different loop packages are ones that people pay for, but these ones are all free to use. So this is your workspace right here. We're going to be adding tracks or different sounds into this workspace. The first sound I want you to use is called Two Step Beats Z Zero One, which is this one here. So I'm going to click on that. If I just want to hear what it sounds like, I just press play. And then you will hear it. I don't know if you're going to hear it because I have headphones on. Press off so you can hear it. Oh, this says two-step bass. We want beats. So I'm going to scroll down. There we go. Now it'll keep playing and playing and playing until you press pause and then it will stop. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this and we're going to drag it over here just like this and put it in this box. All right, so it's loading right now. There it is. And we are going to put it right so it starts on this number one. Each number represents a bar of four, four time. So one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. And then it stops. So this loop is kind of short. We're going to make it longer by going to the right top right hand corner and pulling along like this. So right now, now it's going to bar nine. I'm going to stop it there. And I want to add it so that is going all the way to bar 25. So I'm just going to click on loops to make this, this part of the screen just go away for a bit. So I'm going to click and drag it over here like this. Here we go. I'm going to keep going until I get to 25. We're going to stop right before number 25. So essentially, we have 24 beats of this sound. To play it, we're just going to scroll to the beginning, press play. 
three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, five. And this is just going to, track is going to keep on going. All right. We are going to just rewind back to the front and add another track. The next one we're going to add is called Two Step Strings. So to get back to the loops, click on loops down here. And we want Two Step Strings. So I'm scrolling down to find it. Two Step Strings. Uh, right here. So we'll just take this one here and we're going to put that starting at bar five. So I'm going to click and drag it and I'm going to put it right here. And it's not quite where I want it to be. You see, I want to line it up right here. So I'm just going to hold with a hand. I'm just going to move it over like that. I'm going to make this go away for a bit. And I've asked you to bring this to bar 25. So again, I'm going to the right hand corner so that it can pull along. And you should see that it looks like the same kind of pattern or shape inside the same color. And then you know you've done it right. So I'm going to scroll back to the beginning just to listen. So far we've had this. And then our next part comes in right there. All right. Beautiful. And now we're going to rewind it and add another track. So we have two tracks. We have this first track, which is the drums, and the second track track which is the strings um, and we're going to add a third track so I'm going to go back to loops right here and my next track is going to be a keyboard loop and it's called two step keys zero three so I'm going to just scroll back to the top because it's alphabetized two step keys zero three and I want you to start this one at bar 20 uh, bar five as well and again if it's not quite right just smooth it over you can stretch it this way and that way line it up so they're starting together at the same time now I want to stretch that and make it go for a longer time. So I'm just going to point to the top there. So I get that arrow and stretch it so that it goes to bar 25 also. That's going to be where our end of our song is. Okay. Now we are going to listen to that. So I'm going to rewind it, go to the beginning. I can actually change this too. So I don't have to listen to that first four bars of just the drums. We're going to start it there. Press play. Okay. So I have quite a lot going on right now and I'm going to pause that, go back to the beginning. I would like to add another, I want you to do another loop. So this next last one, we're going to go to uh, two step keys number 16. So a different sound. This is what it sounds like. And I'm going to pull it and I'm going to have it start at bar nine. Okay. So I'm just going to pull this over here. Now I did say bar nine and this is only at bar five or six. So I'm going to let that load and I'm just going to drag it along till it gets to where I want it to be right at the beginning of bar nine, which is here's the nine. Now I would like to keep stretching it. So I go to the top right hand corner of the, of the sound of the loop till I get that little left and right arrow and keep pulling and it'll just pull across the screen and we're going to go to bar 17 right there. And we've still got room for something, so we're going to add another loop. So I'm going to add two step keys, number nine. So let's find that one right here. This is what it sounds like. And I'm going to drag it over here. It's not very long. So I'm going to also only pull it to bar 21. That's what your instructions and your assignments say. So there I am at 21. We're going to add one more little piece to this track and it's called two step keys number 10. So I'm going to find that two step keys number 10 and I'm going to choose that one. It sounds like this. I'm just going to pull it over here for now. Don't worry if it layers on top, we can move it. So I'm going to move that over here and it is starting at bar 21 right here. I'm going to line it up right at that line. Now, do you see how this one got small? That's okay. We can stretch it, pull it back. All right. So this track has a lot of different sounds that are starting at different times. So there's one there. We'll just hear what it sounds like. start a new sound. And I'll keep on going. And 
at 21, we have a new sound. Awesome. Now we just need one more track. So far you have four, we're gonna add one more. So I go to loops and I would like you to use two-step bass, zero three. So I'm just gonna to scroll to the top here, two-step bass, bass, zero three. And I'm just gonna drag that whole thing down here to the track number five. And I'm gonna make loops go away. And I'd like you to go from, have this start at bar number nine. So I'm just pushing it forward. Let's see if we can scroll back a bit. So we're gonna just pull it along, drag it along to bar number nine, and we're gonna stretch it so it goes right to the end of the, of the 24th bar. Okay, now all of these instructions about which track to uh, load with which loop is all in your hub course. So you can have that, look at that uh, at the same time, you can split your screen, um, or you can toggle back and forth between those instructions. So here we go. I'm going to start the song from the beginning. Here we go. So here's my, my first track. And here's two more. And now I'm going to start other sounds. And there you go. If you want to change your volume, if it's a bit too loud or whatever, you can change that. there you have it. You've just created in this digital workspace music with five tracks using loops. So this is our first step in learning how to do music production online using digital software. Now, once you're done, you've got, you followed all those steps and you click on submit and it will store your work in your band lab class so that I can look at it. You can look at it and you can show other people as well. So just click on submit and you're good to go. And it'll start saving it. If you'd like to add a note to it, I will add a note. I'm just going to call it an exemplar for the test class because that's what it is. And then I just click submit and it then it will save. It takes a little time to do that. So there you go. That's that's how we'll start band lab. So this is one of our first assignments in this in this part of our hub course. And again, you can watch this video again to see the different steps. But I think once you've added a couple of tracks, you'll know exactly what to do. You kind of just get into a bit of a pattern. And don't don't be afraid to try different, to listen to different loops and try layering um, them in your own personal projects as well. But for this first experiment, I'd like you to try to follow my instructions exactly and see if you can make the same product that I just made. Good luck and have fun.